Making a Roblox game has been a dream of mine since I was young, and I've tried many times to do so. Every time I failed due to my lack of knowledge, but not this time. I challenged myself to learn scripting in one week, and if this video is out, it means I did it. Let's begin. Before we begin, let's have a quick overview of the plan for this challenge. Every day, I will learn something new to do with scripting. I must spend at least an hour and a half learning how to script every day. With this new knowledge, I will try and code something, anything. By the end of the challenge, I will create some sort of game, even if it's small. If I fail to make this game, I fail the challenge. Let's begin. With zero knowledge of scripting, I open the script editor and try to code something, anything. The hell am I even doing? It seems I misjudged how hard this was going to be. I went on YouTube and found this YouTuber called The Dev King, who had an entire series on how to code. Without hesitation, I started watching. How do I do all of this? The Dev King. Help! In just the first day, I had completed this beginner series, and I was very tired. Despite my fatigue, I was engulfed in the teaching methods, and along with my trusty notes, I had really began to pick up the basic principles of scripting. With my new skills, I hopped into the studio and created this. I'm the best, I'm literally the best. It was a small victory, but it felt amazing. Day 2 baby, let's- As day 2 began, a problem arose. Although I had completed the beginner series, I know, very cool, it wasn't enough to be able to call myself a scripter. The end goal of this challenge is to make a full game, but I wasn't at that level yet. I wanted more, I needed more, I needed to become a KING at scripting! Or, so I hoped. I dived into the first video of the advanced series, and it was pretty simple, but as I got to the second, third, Fourth, fifth. The hell does this even mean? He's, yapp he's yapping like crazy. If I don't understand this, how am I meant to even make a full game? My warrior mindset had depleted as I felt the disappointment of failing. I was on the verge of quitting, but then I remembered what my good friend Jamsku told me. Listen, Simjet, you gotta remember, every master was once a beginner. That could be you too. Yeah, Broski's not the main character. After Jam's words of wisdom, I made day 2's code and prepared for day 3. Huh. To make up for the episodes I didn't understand, I used a well-known tool called the Roblox Documentation. If you don't know what the Roblox Documentation is, it's a collection of resources that help you learn how to create Roblox experiences. It contains tutorials, samples, and API references for Roblox Studio, and is a great way to learn program, programming, and designing on Roblox. I continued watching and used the Roblox Documentation to fill any gaps in my knowledge. Look, they even have an AI that will answer all my scripting problems. I was back on track, and I was really starting to feel like a real coder. So, I asked my friend Cyber for a small task. All my days. Oh my! It's Jamsku's dad! Cyber, I forgot to tell you something. Now's not the best time to tell you, but the reason I, the reason I called you here was to ask for an idea yeah. or something to code. No, not now, bro. Well, why not? We're doing this, bro. Let's just get these books. Let's just get these books. Jam's got two. Jam literally has two. Oh my! He's right there. I'm going up with him. No way. Jam! Oh my! Cyber run! Cyber run! Oh my days. What? What? Jam? Oh shoot! Cyber! Cyber! Why did I decide to tell you indoors? Where's the book? Where's the book? <gasps> yes. Another book. I see a book right there. Oh my god, there's Jam. How did you die? How did you die? You did first. Exactly. There's be like a portal system. They have to get around the map. Portal system? Mm. So Cyber came up with a good idea of making a portal. So let's get started. First, I inserted two parts into the workspace and added a script into the part that I want the teleporter to be in. I then defined our two parts using variables and created a function that occurs whenever the part was touched. I then made sure the part that touched it was a humanoid root part and if it was, it changes the C-frame of the humanoid root part to the C-frame of the location. So if we touch this part, we should get teleported. Yep, nice. It works. Let's show Cyber our creation. Whoa, that is trash! But Where's the special effects and the sucking in animations and stuff? Like, come on man, I expected better from you, man. You suck. Huh? 
Despite what Cyber said, my warrior mindset was back. With the help of the Roblox documentation and the Dev King's methods of teaching, I was on the verge of becoming unstoppable. I had covered tweens, remote events, C-frames, and I had finally reached a GUI series. GUIs are the core components of making a game. I mean, it's literally always on your screen. So I knew learning GUIs was going to be a big step on my journey. Guys, I'm not even gonna lie, GUIs are so easy. I mean, look at the shock concept I made. It even works on an iPhone 7. A few hours later, I had completed the Dev King scripting tutorials, and I understood the basic syntax needed for coding. Although I had learned how to script, I had no idea where to start on making a game. Um, what the sigma? I'm joking, I'm gonna do it all myself. My plan is to make an obby, but a bit more advanced. I'm not going to show the process of making this game here, because I made a whole video on it. Here's some of the scripts that I made whilst making this game, and here's the final game. I had been grinding my butt off for 5 days straight, so I took a break from the challenge to refresh my mind for the final days. In the meantime, I updated my minigame, posted a whole video on the update, drank loads of tea and consumed a bunch of carrots. After touching some grass, my energy was restored for the final stretch of the journey. I swear this happens every video. Bro thinks he's affecting me? Nah, this is just more motivation for me. Let's do this. <laughs> Now that I had all the core knowledge needed to script, it was time to make the ultimate game. Ah, the fresh air of an empty base plate. I decided it was time to make my first ever simulator, a click simulator. I started by making a leader stats script that save when you leave and load when you join. And I remembered to enable access to API services to allow it to work. As you can see, if we change the value of the clicks on the server, leave and rejoin, our value saved. Nice. I then inserted a temporary button and made the clicking system of the game by using remote events. If you don't know what a remote event is, <gasps> remote events is how you connect the server and the client together. The client is what the individual player sees, such as their own cursor, and the server is what everyone sees, such as the map. The reason for using remote events is so that you can connect things client-sided and, imp and implement something server-sided. It's kind of confusing, but hey, at least I understand. Sorry about that, my inner nerd came out. I also made sure to add a debounce to my system to prevent you pest clicks or auto click -offs. As you can see, the clicking system is working. <laughs> yeah! Since day 5's minigame took 24 hours, I only had an hour left of the day to work, so my time for the day had ended. <laughs> On day 7, I continued the game by adding two new lead stats, rebirths and gems. You can rebirth by using clicks to increase your click power, and you can get gems by rebirthing. Also, don't judge the crappy UI, we'll change it in a bit. Now, about the gems, you're probably wondering, what's the point of gems if you can't do anything with them? Now, you can spend your gems on more rebuffs to get more gems to get more rebuffs to get more gems to get I asked my Discord if they wanted the menu to open from a GUI or an actual in-game shop, and the in-game shop building won, but I wanted the GUI option, so we're gonna do both. And after 5 minutes of simple coding, we now have a menu opener thingy. I then coded the system where... What? No. Day 7 was completed, and I hadn't completed my game. Uh, who cares? I've learned how to script now. Let's just finish this. I then coded the system where you can buy more rebirth for gems, and it turned out pretty well. Here's what we've got so far. So far, so good. I then asked Bing Image Creator for some UI vector icons, because yes, and it gave me these. I transformed them into these masterpieces and put them into my game along with some frames for the menus. As you can see, we've got this thingy right here, which shows the counter for how many clicks you have. I then made a sick pop-up appear whenever you actually click. By the way guys, I am using the help of DevBlocks for this game, but I'm not entirely just yoinking his code. Cut me some slack, man. I just learned a couple of days ago. Next, I made this portal where the padlock disappears whenever you have enough clicks to afford it. Although the portals are working, the actual worlds will be coming in the next video on this game, so stay tuned for that. I then added a bunch more upgrades that you can buy, such as click multipliers, walk speed, you get the gist. And then JavaScript challenged me to make a map of the game in 3 hours. So let's have a time lapse, shall we?
then place some benches around the map, place some pads in case we use these spots in the future, and also made a how to play GUI to guide new players on how to play obviously. Finally, I made a module script that abbreviates numbers to a shorter form. For example, instead of this long number, we can have this nice and short and beautiful and with that, our final game is complete. It definitely didn't take days. Throughout this journey, I've learned a lot, including scripting, GUI, data store, and more. You guys must remember, not everything you saw in this video contributed to what I learned. It obviously took hours of practice and grinding. This is just the beginning of my journey. There's still loads to be learned, so I'm gonna keep grinding. Anyways, I want to thank the Dev King for his amazing tutorials, Jamscoot for his wise words of wisdom, and Cyber for his motivation. Anyways, like and subscribe, join the Discord, and I'll see you guys later. See ya! Alright, Simja, you want my respect.